Hello guys, welcome and in this video I will be showing you how you can linear fit a given set of data using a C++ program that I made and I will be explaining the program quite briefly and I will assume that you know something about linear fitting you know so in short just to let me revise or sum up what linear fitting does is for example you have conducted an experiment and you got these observation points which are these circles right here this one then this one and then this one and then this one and this one and you do know that the experiment that you perform obey, obeys a linear you know uh, a linear expression or linear equation and you want to plot a line a straight line that goes through all the points but unfortunately you can see that there's no such line that could go through all the, all these points right here so in order for your um, observations to be uniform across the world I mean for example if you choose to drop this point and this point and you choose to join these two points only then you would get some slope and some intercept and your line and that is a line of equation like this where A is the slope and B is the intercept and for your observations of A and B to be uniform across the world the mathematicians have come up with linear fitting or linear regression formula for you know slope and intercept such that the line that you draw would be a best fit and it will be uniform across the world because they will be using the same formula and they, and they would all get the same uh, slope and intercept and with that in mind that it is the best fit because the error that is the deviation of that is difference like the distance of this point from this line and the distance from all, uh, uh, from all the points to the line if we add up this word vertical distance we would get a minimum and mathematics has in, and calculus has ensured that it is a minimum so the error is minimum hence we call this data the best fit line okay so now let's have now the program is fairly easy to make if you know a little bit of C++ and some arrays so here I have with me my you know um, here I have my program for linear fitting that is um, a C++ program that I'm running on my Linux virtual box using this software in case you're wondering what uh, how did I you know switch from Windows to Linux in a, about a second this is a software called Oracle virtual box manager and it's pretty good you can check it out so anyways so here is my program for linear fitting the given data and um, just declaring some you know including some header files and setting the precision right here so first of all you will ask the user how many data pairs are there to be entered and it will give you uh, the number as n and you will use this n to define or declare these arrays so that you know the size of the array that's why you ask the user the number of data pairs so now you declare these arrays x is for storing the x values and y is for storing the y values in this video I will assume that x is uh, you know the horizontal axis and y is vertical axis which is quite generally the case and a would be my slope and b would be my intercept now I will ask the user to enter those x values so I have declared a you know for loop where I would be entering the x values from 0 to n x indices will be from 0 to n and then I will be asking the user to enter the y values and I will store them in the y array now now what's the formula for the slope and the intercept can be found using this uh, thing that I found over the internet or any book that you have on applied numerical analysis will do the trick so here beta naught is the intercept and beta 1 is the slope so let's say I want to find the slope right now and in my program it is A I call the slope A right here so what I do is I declare some arrays for as you can see in this you know here I need sigma y I need sigma of x square then I need sigma x then I need sigma of x into y 
and then I also need sigma x to the power 2 and so on so what I can see is that I need sigma y1 then sigma x square then sigma x and sigma xy and in this also I need the same thing so that would, these four values would do so I declare some variables x sum would be my sigma x x2 sum is for sigma x squared and y sum is for sigma y and xy sum is for sigma xy okay so now as you, uh, now you will uh, start a loop that would you know store the that would calculate sigma x right here and sigma y then sigma x squared that's why you know x, since it is, it is x squared that's why I'm adding power of xi to the 2 because that is the square function you would have to use the cmat library for that to be used and then sigma xy right here and if you don't understand it right now I would uh, suggest that you pause the video and think about it what am I doing actually right here because if you know how to find sums of errors then it would seem pretty natural anywho now I apply the formula of the slope right here which was taken from here here it says n into sigma of let me just minimize both the windows it's getting quite confusing otherwise okay so here we are um, okay so now we can see that the formula for a which which is my slope actually and here the formula for slope was beta 1 and minus a so they are the same n into sigma of xy so n into sigma xy right here minus sigma x into sigma y that is also done right here then divided by n into sigma x squared minus sigma x to the power 2 so I am just multiplying sigma x twice here and similarly I did the same thing for the slope I just copied this formula right here now what I have done is that now that I found the slope and the intercept now you can just simply you know print this result like the linear fill line is of the form ax plus b and that would be a linear line and but what I am doing actually right here is that I am comparing now for example we had some y values right we had uh, to start this uh, let me just get a quick example of y values or something like that okay not this one that's all um, just hold on a minute and okay so we have this example right here where we have some x values and some y values now in my program what I want to do is I want to find the best fit line but I also want to compare the uh, the line with these y values for example if I get a best fit line as ax plus b then I want to put this x right here into that equation ax plus b and want to find out what do I get y it should be near to this value and if it's the best fit then it must approximate that so let's see if I can do that so I hope you understand the program until now now let's find some example to check out our program okay okay now so now let's try an example of some linear fitting so here in my excel window I have two examples here so for first example which has some x values right here and some y values right here and then there's another example of resistance versus temperature where the temperature values or the x values are these and these are the y values so let's open my terminal and try to run this program okay so let's just arrange these windows a bit okay so my program is called linear fit and I'm compiling it right now okay done now running it so the number of data pairs that we have here is 4 in this first case so let me add a 4 
and those are the x values are 50, 70, 100, oh sorry, I guess I can change it right now, then the y values are 12, 15, 21, 25 and here I get the best linear fit is of the form y is equal to 0.1879x plus 2.2759 where this is this right here is your slope and this is the intercept and now let me compare these values and with what Excel gives me okay not what I wanted right here okay so the program oh my god I just clicked the wrong button and it just crashed on me. Good God. Is it gonna open now? Hmm. I guess it isn't. Anywho, I have the values. I took them from this example, right? So anywho, if you just oh let me just open my Excel window again. So here they are okay so I have one here right okay so we are in luck <laughs> it saves us I don't know what happened there okay so we are here okay <laughs> auto save man okay so now if we insert a scatter graph using Excel and then we try okay let me just maximize it and then we try to find the trend line here which would be a linear trend line in this case and we find the this and we get the program on uh, the computer to display the equation of the line come on so as you can see right here this equation is exactly the same as the one we have got through C++ 0.1879x plus 2.2759 compared for itself and you know these Microsoft people are selling such expensive softwares and in that they are providing these you know little tricks for people who don't know much about math or science but if you're a math student you can probably do it yourself and if you know a little bit of programming even a language like C++ is enough so okay now let's tr just try another example here where we I have the resistance versus temperature curve which is as you all know is a straight line so the number of points to be entered is 5 as you can see right here and those are 20.5 32.7 51, 73.2, 95.7, then the y-axis value are 765, 826, 873, 942, 1032. Okay, so we get the linear fit at 3.3949x plus 702.0721. And if you plot these using Excel, I'm sure that we will get the same result. Go here, right here, then a little trend line, one trend line. And once again you can see that we have an exact same equation. So our program actually works right now and in case you are wondering what am I displaying right here is it is a serial number, x axis values, the y observed values that you enter to the program and then it finds the best linear fit and then puts these x values right here in, back into this equation and then we get this fitted values which is why you must have noticed this part of the program was there um, this part right here double y fit and I declare another array which would be storing the fitted values and I'm calculating those fitted values by putting x into the equation of the line ax plus b and then I'm displaying all that right here which is just input output formatting set w is to set the width or basically just a tabbing or providing space okay 
Now I hope you like this video and I was able to explain this program to you and you can now make use of this information that you have just learned and don't forget to press the like button in case you liked it and subscribe for more videos like these and if you feel any questions or some confusions or doubts or you want to give me some suggestion or, may, I, or I made some mistakes in this you know program or in this video or anything don't forget to leave your views in the comments okay leave your views in the comment section down below and like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it and don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos anywho that's all for today thank you for listening to me patiently that be all bye bye